Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Johnson here. Today I'm going to teach you how to log into your Explore Learning account for your Gizmo on Circulatory System. We're going to start with Schoology. The lesson link you're going to find, let's start over here, the lesson link you're going to find is in Second Nine Weeks, Week 5, Circulatory System. We are going to Gizmo Circulatory System Assignment 2. And then when you open that, you're going to see Explore Learning Link. This is going to take you to the website that gets you to your gizmo that you're going to do for the lab. So you're going to press that. When it comes up, it brings you to the gizmo page. And we have to go into our class. And we have to create an account. So the first thing that you need to do is to press the person. Do you see in the upper um, header on the web page it says the word gizmos and then there's ELA and then there is learn more and then you see the little person. All right, you're going to press on the person. And then do you see where it says student enrollment class code? All right, we have a lot of teachers working on gizmos and we have a lot of classes. So every class has its own unique class code. So do not type in the code that I'm going to put in here. This is just to demonstrate. You are going to use the class code that is on the page in your resource folder in Schoology. Okay, so I'm going to put in, this is my first period, but remember every teacher and every class has a different code. So you're going to find whatever your class code is, and then you're going to type it in. And then this puts you in the correct folder in the teacher's class. All right. Then it says some options here. Confirm the class you wish to roll in as a student. If you don't have an Explorer Learning user account, you can create a student account. All right, so that's what we need to do. So this class is my first period and my name. So you need to find, when you, when you enroll, you're going to see that it's your class period, like Science 3, your teacher, maybe it's Mrs. Gorby. All right, so you're going to check to make sure that you're in the right place. And then you're going to create an account. So I need to create an account. You're going to press the green one. And we're going to try to be consistent with the password and username. So I'm going to use my son David as a guinea pig again. You do not have to put the email address. That is not required for students. And then for your username, you're going to put the initials for your school first. For example, if you're at Mountaineer Middle, it would be MMS. If you're at Bridgeport Middle, it would be BMS. All right, so we're going to type BMS. I am for David since he's my kid. BMS. And then you're going to put your last name. Then for the password, you have to have you have to have six letters. So we're going to put our initials, first, middle, and last initial. And then you're going to put Sci, S C I for science, just the the brief part of that. So then you have to confirm your password. All right, and then you're going to hit submit. Okay, so again, the first three letters of your school, like initials, BMS, and then your last name. If that is taken, because there's people with the same last names, put a number at the end, like BMS Johnson 2 or BMS Johnson 20. So you'll put a number there at the end if your last name is already taken up at your school. All right, and then we'll press Submit. And then that brings you to your class. This is my first period. And then it shows the gizmo that you're going to be using for this week, and it's called Circulatory System. And then you press Launch. 
and then that takes you to the gizmo that you're using and you're going to use the lab sheet that was linked in um, to answer these questions um, on your lab paper using the gizmo so this one um, you can show the labels you can show the blood flow All right, we're not seeing the blood flow. So that means we need to open this in Safari. So go out to the bottom right-hand corner, open in Safari. And it looks like we're gonna have to log in again. So now I have a username and password, so let's practice using it. Remember what it is, it's the initials of your school. And then your last name. And then you need to do your password. Remember, it's your first, middle, and last name. And then Psi. There he is. Okay. Then you're going to press launch. All right. Now we should be able to see the blood flowing, which is pretty cool. So click on that. Press play. Well, maybe I didn't press play before. I don't know. But anyway, if it doesn't work in, in Schoology, you can always just go out to Safari and try it. It doesn't matter where you try it, but I guess I missed the play button. So do you see the blood flowing around in there? Okay, and then you can put the labels on. Um, you can make it full screen. And then there's a part where you're going to be using this syringe. So you're gonna click on that. And then do you see the little green bubbles? You can take blood draws right there. It takes a little sample and then it analyzes it over here, data from the blood draw sample. There's also a microscope view that shows the red blood cells and the white blood cells flowing around in that little picture. You can um, press full screen too if you wanna see it larger. All right, again, the little syringe you can move it to another little green spot, take a sample, and then the numbers and the data for the blood sample will change. Try that again. All right, so you're gonna use your lab paper to answer the questions and use this gizmo to help you. And you will be submitting your lab paper and you will be taking a lab check assessment that you use your lab paper to help you. All right, guys, I think that's all for now. Take care.